Welcome to SolidCam Professor in a video series to help you get started with iMachining. This video is part one of session five, and we will define examples of closed pocket geometries. These include a simple closed pocket, as well as closed pocket geometries with islands, entry holes, and with islands and entry holes. First, let's open our example SolidCam part, geometry part one dot PRZ. For any videos using an already created cam part, note the example parts were saved using the external mode and have a compressed .prz file extension. This part file does not come with the installation of SolidCam. The example file will be included with this video tutorial. The part file can either be opened directly from our Getting Started interactive guide or by first downloading it here from our website. I saved my downloaded part file to the SolidCam training folder that I've created on my C drive. I recommend you do the same. Note that a milling cam part has already been created for these upcoming geometry exercises, where I have defined the CNC controller, coordinate system, stock, and target. We have also selected the machine and material databases for the iMachining data during the cam part definition process. I've already defined the tool we'll be using in these exercises as well. We will use an 8mm diameter end mill with a cutting length of 24mm and 4 flutes. We will be running solid cam in a cam experimental mode, which disables the auto isometric view. This can mean a lot less panning and zooming of the part between operations. If you prefer working in this style, you should call your solid cam support technician for help setting this up. First, let's create a new iMachining operation. In the SolidCam Manager, right-click Operations, Add Milling Operation, 2D iMachining. All the examples will use the same tool and have the same depths. Let's make those selections now. Click on the tool branch and then select to open the tool table. Select the 8mm end mill from the list and then click Select to exit the tool table. In the Levels branch, click Upper Level and pick on the top of our model in the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, as shown here. Click OK to accept. Click Pocket Depth, and select the lower face of a pocket to define our machining depth. Then, click OK to accept the selection. For each geometry example, we will simply save and copy the operation and define the next geometry example. The first example will be a simple closed pocket. Switch back to the geometry branch and click New. Zoom in to the topmost configuration, as shown here. Pick on the lower contour of the pocket in the SOLIDWORKS graphics area. Use Auto Constant Z to close the chain, and then click Yes to accept the selection. Click OK to exit the Geometry Edit dialog. Select Save and Calculate to add this operation to the cam tree and calculate the iMachining toolpath. For each example, we will simulate the wireframe toolpath in HostCAD after the calculation. I will point out some of the iMachining techniques on the different geometries. Click Simulate and then press the Play button. On this closed pocket, iMachining will use the helical data from the operation to enter into the pocket followed by a morphing spiral to the outer edges. Exit the simulation and then select Save and Copy to create a new iMachining operation with the same settings. The new operation will automatically open. Click New to define our geometry. This next example is of a closed pocket with island. Pick on the lower contour of the pocket in the SOLIDWORKS graphics area. Use Auto Constant Z to close the chain, and then click Yes to accept the selection. Next, pick on the lower contour of the island, as shown here. Use Auto Constant Z to close the chain, and then click Yes to accept the selection. Click OK to exit the Geometry Edit dialog. Select Save and Calculate to add this operation to the cam tree and calculate the iMachining toolpath. Select Simulate to open the simulation control panel, and then press Play. In HostCAD, we see the helical entry followed by a moat to separate the island from the remaining material, where a morphing spiral can then be formed. Exit the simulation, and then select Save and Copy to adopt the same settings as before. We just need to define the new geometry for the next example. Click the New button. This example is of a closed pocket with multiple islands. There are two islands in this example, but an unlimited number of islands can be defined. Select the geometry in the SOLIDWORKS graphics area. 
First, we will pick on the lower contour of the pocket, use Auto Constant Z to close the chain, and then click Yes to accept the selection. Then, pick the geometry around the islands, exactly as we did in the previous example. Use Auto Constant Z to close the chains, and then click Yes to accept the selections. Click OK to exit the Geometry Edit dialog. Select Save and Calculate, and then Simulate to simulate our iMachining toolpath. After pressing Play, we can see each island is separated when encountered, and a final morphing spiral is formed. Now, let's exit the simulation. We will simply click Save and Copy again, and define the geometry for the next example. Click the New button. This example is of a closed pocket with entry geometry. First, we will pick on the lower contour of the pocket to define one chain. Use Auto Constant Z to close the chain, and then click Yes to accept the selection. Our toolpath will work inside this geometry. Then, pick on the lower contour of the entry geometry. Select Auto Constant Z to close the chain, and then click Yes to accept the selection. Right-click on the Entry Geometry, Chain 2 in the Chain List, and select Mark Chain as Open. The chain turns black in the SolidWorks graphics area, and iMachining is informed that this geometry is for entry and is not an island. Any shape can be used as Entry Geometry, providing it is located inside a closed pocket. Click OK to accept our geometry definitions. Select Save and Calculate and then simulate to simulate our calculated iMachining toolpath. In HostCAD, press the Play button. We can see that a morphing spiral is formed from the entry geometry to the outer walls of the pocket. Let's exit simulation and save and copy the operation to define our geometry for the next example. Click the New button. This example is of a closed pocket with entry hole. This shows how to define an entry hole that was drilled. First, pick on the lower contour of the pocket. Use Auto Constant Z to close the chain, and then click Yes to accept the selection. Then, pick on the entry hole geometry. Using the chain list in the Geometry Edit dialog, mark the entry hole as open to enable the tool to feed down into the hole. It is important to note that if the pocket has a flat bottom, the hole should have a flat bottom also since the tool will feed down to the bottom of the pocket. A contour operation can be used to remove the drill point from the bottom of the hole before using iMachining. Click OK to accept our geometry definitions. Select Save and Calculate and then Simulate to view our calculated toolpath in HostCAD. Press the Play button. We can see that the tool feeds down into the entry hole and a morphing spiral is formed to the outer walls of the pocket. Let's exit simulation and save and copy the operation again, and then define the geometry for the next example. Click the New button. This example is of a closed pocket with island and entry hole. First, pick on the lower contour of the pocket, use Auto Constant Z to close the chain, and then click Yes to accept the selection. Next, pick on the lower contour of the island as shown here. Again, use Auto Constant Z to close the chain, and then click Yes to accept the selection. Then, pick on the entry hole geometry. Right-click on the entry hole geometry, Chain 3, in the Chain List, and select Mark Chain as Open. Click OK to exit the Geometry Edit dialog. Select Save and Calculate, and then simulate to view our toolpath in HostCAD. Press the Play button. We can see that the tool feeds down into the hole and the island is separated from the remaining material. Let's exit the simulation. Now, we will save and copy the operation and define the geometry for our last closed pocket configuration. Click the New button. This example is of a closed pocket with multiple islands and entry hole. First, we will pick on the lower contour of the pocket. Use Auto Constant Z to close the chain and then click Yes to accept the selection. Then, pick the geometry around the islands. Use Auto Constant Z to close the chains, and click Yes to accept the selections.
Lastly, pick on the entry hole geometry. Then, right click on the entry hole geometry, chain 4 in the chain list, and select Mark Chain as Open. Click OK to exit the Geometry Edit dialog. Select Save and Calculate, and then Simulate to view our toolpath at work using HostCAD. Press the Play button. We can see that the tool feeds down into the hole and both islands are separated as they are encountered. Let's exit the simulation. Now, we will select Save and Copy to create a new iMachining operation with the same tool and milling level settings. This is where we will begin our next video session. And this concludes Part 1 of Session 5 in the Solid Camp Professor video series to help you get started with iMachining. Here we have defined many examples of closed pocket geometries and simulated their iMachining toolpaths. Thanks for watching. Please join us for Part 2 of Session 5, Defining Examples of Open Pocket Geometries.